Muhalevi, is a milk pudding that has legendary origins dating as far back as Sassanid Persia 224-651. The basic ingredients are rice, sugar, rice flour and milk. The earliest recorded recipes date to the 10th century, but according to an anecdotal story of the dessert's origins a Persian cook served the pudding to the Umayyad general Al-Muhalab bin Abi Sufa who liked it so much he named it after himself. In the Middle Ages, Muhalebi and its European counterpart Blamange were made with shredded chicken. The European recipes changed considerably over centuries. Though the traditional recipe is still common in Turkey, it is no longer widely available in other countries. Israeli Malabi is usually flavored with syrup or culinary rose water, and sometimes the milk is replaced with grape juice to make the pudding parava. History Legend has it that Muhalevi was introduced into Arab cuisine in the late 7th century by a Persian cook who served it to an Arab general by the name of Al-Muhalab ibn Abi Sufra. He liked it so much, he named it after himself. The earliest recipes dating to the 10th century, featured three versions, milk thickened with ground rice, milk with rice grains and chicken, and an egg custard without rice. The earliest recipe for Muhalabiya is attributed to Ibn Sayyar al-Warak of Baghdad. Two 13th-century Arab cookbooks, one by al-Baghdadi and another from Andalusia, have a spiced pudding variation made with mutton instead of chicken. The account of the pudding's Persian origins comes from the Andalusian cookbook, known as Blamange in Europe. One 13th-century recipe for Blamangir recorded in the Traité de Cuisine Acritvers is made with chicken, rice and sugar. Milk or almond milk are optional. One recipe for blank mang in the form of curry calls for blanched almonds. A recipe for mamanier from the form of curry includes cheese, egg yolks, saffron, clove sauce and galangale, in addition to the usual almond milk, rice, capon and sugar. Another called mamonium in the liver de kakina is made from pounded capon meat, rice, almond milk, spices, and honey. There are records from the Ottoman Empire for two versions of Muhalevi. A version with shredded chicken, Tavik Gogzu, was served during Regin of Mehmed the Conqueror and there is also a later recipe dating to 1530 for a meatless version. The meatless version of the Ottoman pudding was flavored with rose water. One 19th century English cookbook that gives a recipe for Muhalevi calls it Ramazan cakes. The recipe calls for boiling milk together with rice flour and sugar until the mixture reduces. The pudding is flavored with rose or jasmine extract, and allowed to cool before it is sprinkled with powdered sugar. Variations In the modern era the traditional Tavik Gogzu is no longer widely available, except in Turkey. This pudding does not taste at all like chicken, but the shredded meat gives it a distinctive texture. George Coleman Decay said the pudding owes its peculiar excellent flavor to the presence of the breasts of very young chickens, which are by some means so intimately blended and incorporated with the custard as to be scarcely distinguishable. Kazandibi is a variation of the classic Tavik Gogzu where a thin layer of pudding is caramelized before the custard is poured over it and allowed to set. The finished pudding is served upside down with the caramelized side on top. Mastic can be used as a flavoring for muhalebis. This is called sakasli muhalebi. Rice flour is used to thicken the pudding, but this can be combined or replaced with corn starch or wheat starch depending on the cook's preference. In Israel, the pudding, known as Malabi, Malbi is one of the country's most popular desserts, and considered to a key local recipe. It is based on the Jewish Turkish Sephardic recipe and made from cream and milk cooked with corn starch and rose syrup. Jewish Malabi sometimes substitutes white grape juice for the almond milk, similar to the Turkish keskel. This version is typically topped with chopped peanuts and desiccated coconut, flavorings such as rose or orange water. Chefs Yotam Otomengi and Sami Tamimi, in Jerusalem, a cookbook, define Malabi as the dessert form of salab. Both a flour made from the tubers of the orchid genus Orcus and the name for the warm, less viscous version of the cold dessert. Culinary traditions In some Sephardi homes, Malabi is served to break the fast on the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur. It is also eaten at Turkish-Jewish weddings to symbolize the sweet life that lies ahead. 
Sephardim serve it on the festival of Shavuot when it is customary to eat dairy food, but according to food historian Gil Marx, the real reason is that the holiday is known in this community as the Feast of Roses, and Malavi is traditionally topped with rosewater. References <laughs>